But then realistically, usually like when the girl has like little to no experience, guys will be like, oh, she's a prude. She like, or do Mary, whatever. It's always like, if it's too little, it's a problem. If it's too high, it's also a problem. There's no in between. Even for just a hookup though, given the, given the option, mm-hmm. assuming they're both equally down, I can speak for myself. I, I think I, a lot of guys would agree. Give us the girl with one body or mm-hmm. zero over the girl with 30. Isn't that concerning to you that you guys what? think that way? Like, that's just what? so weird to me. Why is it no. concerning? But, it's like, for me personally, I would rather, like, kind of like what they were saying about the guys. Like, yeah, like, if I find out a dude's a virgin or, like, one body, I'm like, I'm not going to probably want to waste my time. Because the sex teaching. is going to be bad, potentially. Yes, right? and I'm not even trying to take this to a weird place. That's why I kind of regret even opening my mouth. Take it what, Take it to a weird place? Yes, but, like, you don't, you don't see the, like, am I the only one that's, like, having a connotation? With that? What? The comment. Men want virginity, virgins, no dick inside of you. What? And then it's almost territorial, it sounds like. Is that not weird? Like they Wait, don't what? want somebody gonna, else peeing on uh, their tree. What what is the connotation? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. What? She thinks But we kinda basic. talked about how we wouldn't go there, so I'm like not yeah. trying to go there. Go where? To some weird shit. You know what I mean? You just know what I mean? just like, guys having a preference for for their partner? Ha- guys having a preference for women to be as close to pre as possible. Well, okay. Um, hold on. So no, that's no, why no. I wasn't trying to do that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like. But okay, I, we're, we're speaking within the context of adult women. So yes, I know. Women, women over the age of 18. Oh, I'm not saying, I'm not saying child at all. That's not what yeah. I'm saying. Adult women, but the men who go for adult women are still trying to make them as prepubescent as possible. Like, you know, the whole hairless thing. An 18, 19, 20, or 21 year old adult woman can be a virgin. I, that's, that's not, you're not getting what I'm saying. I'm saying those women, the, yes, they are grown women, but there's a lot of problem with men trying to go for women as close to being as possible. Do you get what I'm saying? Okay, so you're talking like age gap relationships. Not even, yes, but not even necessarily. It could still be a 20 year old and a 20 year old, but that 20 year old dude is going for a 20 year old girlfriend who, if we look close, if you just look past her, she might look like she's like 14. You know what I mean? Well, I don't think, I mean, if she's of age, if she's 18 or 19, I don't think we should. Some, some women have younger features. That's I not, guess. I know, but I'm saying mm. it's, it's sought after. Like the whole virginity thing, like never been touched by a man before, never had a penis inside of her. Like that, I want her completely hairless, no hair, nothing, never been I, touched by a man. You're, you not know what I'm saying? I kind of see, see no, I see I where you're, I, what you're saying, yeah. I, I see where you're going. I see where you're talking about that. I see where you're going, but yeah. I mean, I'm not trying to I, he, I, what I'm saying, what Andrew Tate is saying is adult women, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, virg- virginity or low body count is something that we value. Yes. Okay, you wanted to come in. I Go think, um, yeah, I think there definitely are people like where you're, the realm you're getting into and that's kind of like a different thing. But I think like a lot of it has to do with like what you like get from someone who like isn't, um, who's a virgin. It's kind of just like, it's like, like I don't, like a lot of people just have insecurities and like when people like have lower body counts or something, or like higher body counts you just like want to be like something to them like you want to be like important when people have like higher body counts it's kind of like like i like what i see like sometimes like people just like want to be like the best out of it like i think there's like territorial aspects too i think there's a lot of aspects of just like people wanting to like be something important be something special um i think like that's some how guys like i know there's some weird guys that are like really fetishized like the thing if like you're a virgin because it's just like oh like i got you first it's like you're collecting like your pokemons or whatever like i got <laughs> like i have these many virgins whatever um but i think like the same thing for girls like like if you get with a guy who's a virgin you're also a virgin it's kind of like this special bond like because like you guys are like you know like figuring things out together so it can kind of like go both ways obviously i don't think like i think andrew tate is stupid like pretty much like that's all i'm gonna say about that um but like i like i get what it is like what people are saying like if a girl wants you know if a girl's a virgin wants to be with a guy who's a virgin too like you know like you like there's nothing to judge like it makes sense or it's like just like an emotional aspect to it I want to add on, like, isn't it problematic that we're basing people, like, and their worth on how many other people they've slept with? 
Like, are you going to truly form a meaningful relationship if this is what you care about? Like, shouldn't you be focusing on, like, oh, what this person values? And, okay, this might sound, like, cliche, but isn't it true? Like, are you truly going to, like, form... A, like, and one night stand, okay, I understand. But, like, if you're planning to, you know, take a serious relationship or get in one, like, if this is what you're concerned about, I don't really know if you're going to have something deep to connect on. Or and if you're ready for a relationship at all, if that's yeah. what you care about. Yeah. So you're saying that someone who would be concerned about their partner's past past sexual uh, exploits or promiscuity is not emotionally or mentally, uh, like they're not in the right mindset to have a relationship? Because if they're... If what about highly religious people that they're waiting till marriage to get married? They want to be... Vir they're a virgin. They want a partner that's a virgin. So to them being with a partner that has a low body count or who, who has no body count in this case, that's a priority to them. That's, is there an issue there? I think um, you misinterpreted me for a little bit. I, I think more of like the extent to which we're spending time on this conversation currently and to weigh like the extent Andrew Tate talks about it. And I understand like the topic of this, but I think if you care about it so much, like that this is like such a priority, maybe take a step back. I'm not saying it's totally not important. I'm saying it's n maybe not as valuable as we are making it out to be, of course. And to some, this might be very valuable. But, you know, just take it into consideration. Well, I would say that I think for men, men care about body count more than women care about it. Men are more interested in this than women are. So mm -hmm. um. I think most, a lot of the women, like, probably don't care and it kind of comes back to well something we sort of touched on is that um, I think women sort of value men who are a bit more experienced and a guy who's a bit more experienced whether that be in the bedroom or just relationship wise so uh, the thing the fact the thing is is that men and women are attracted to different things we men have different preferences than do women there there are some where there's a there's some preferences standards or boundaries that both men and women share, but there are also uh, asymmetries too.